Judge Joe Brown's all new barbecue sauce and seasoning, justice in the form of flavor. Law firms will take this as a retainer. What? It must be a law firm when they hungry as hell. Now you gonna help me with this parole I'm dealing with? Judge Joe Brown's all new barbecue sauce and seasoning, justice in the form of flavor. With one taste of our premium blends of all natural ingredients, herbs, and spices, mm, you'll fall in love with meat all over again. Judge Joe Brown's all natural barbecue sauce collection is made up of two zesty flavors, original and spicy. There's only one way to bring order back to barbecuing. Just add Judge Joe Brown's all natural barbecue sauce and seasoning and you be the judge. Kwanzaa. I don't celebrate that. It was started by a traitor to black people, Ron Everett, aka the Mile Ron Karinga, in 1966. The first meetings were at Lamert Park on Crenshaw in LA. And it turns out that the avowed purpose was so that black people could be encouraged to talk so he could provide more information to LAPD and the FBI. More people got killed because of that scoundrel and the folk that were pushing him at that time than you can be comfortable with. A lot of people I'm personally acquainted with died because of that clown. He went to the penitentiary for torturing several black women because he thought they were trying to poison him. He got out of the state penitentiary after doing one year, one day, and within two weeks, he was a tenured professor at the state university system. He killed off John Huggins and Bunchy Carter at UCLA and tried to terrorize the black women out there so he could get a black studies program that he ran that was a four-year program in usology. He was a snitch, a sneak, and a lowdown, egotistical, maniacal, crazy man. And I challenge it and say it to its face, said it to their face back when. So I do not celebrate Kwanzaa because I do not celebrate anything where somebody was trying to snitch out the good things that black people were trying to do in their communities between 1965 and 1968 when that other scoundrel, Richard Tricky Dick, I am not a crook Nixon, got into the White House. So, okay, so Kwanzaa, it starts, I believe, December 26th after Christmas. Kwanzaa is a week-long celebration held in the United States that honors African heritage and African-American culture. Kwanzaa is observed from December 26th to January 1st and culminates in gift giving and a big feast. Dr. Karinga created seven guiding principles. He's a complete treasonous, sellout, bought off, weird old asshole. Now, I get that. That's and, personal. And, and right, it's personal, but factual. Um, however, should. And like the first 100 million man, the first million man march on Washington. Uh, Minister Louis Farrakhan said, and a lot of people object to this, but in let's say the interest of reconciliation um, perhaps we might allow ron karinga to speak to the group now i know some people are very much against this but we're going to let him speak in the spirit of reconciliation a lot of people hate that mf for what he did in the black community out in la and all the people he got killed and all of the people he sold out and all of the black movement that was crushed because his folk came in, infiltrated meetings, took shorthand notes and got a lot of people prosecuted because the FBI thought what they said was inflammatory. Now, should black, so you're saying black people shouldn't celebrate it because he no, created they, it? The other thing is, is come up with a real African holiday and celebrating that part of the season is questionable anyway, but they might go dig a little bit deeper and find up something that that clown didn't start up so he could get people to pay his idiot boot dancers who would do these uh, line dances in rubber boots like they were supposed to be scrubbing the gutters in Pretoria, South Africa. 
But what about the representation of Kwanzaa? You know, because it's seven candles and they each mean something. Yeah, I you know. Moja for unity. Um, I want it, but Fuji, I don't. Kongola. I, I refuse to celebrate an enemy. I refuse to celebrate all of the black men and women that died or suffered at the hands of snitches like that. I refuse to sit there and celebrate anything that comes from a creature who is one of quite a few who did every damn thing they can because they were opportunistic pimps of the moment 50 plus years ago that has led us to where we are right now when what we had was a beautiful black thing that was gathering momentum got to the point where nobody could trust anybody because of what charlatans like that fool did. True. So basically, it is important to understand how the root of something was created. Like, can you can you bypass him? Don't acknowledge him, but celebrate the principles of Kwanzaa, which is something positive, unity, purpose. You might be able to, but I can't. Right. I hold Cooperative that grudge. economic. You know I say, fruit don't fall far from the tree, and Collect it fell from that collective poisonous tree. Now, there were some good people in the US organization, but one of the big problems was that there was a gang called the businessmen in LA that went defunct after the LA uprising in 1965. A lot of those young men were in the penitentiary serving time, and when they got out, they got recruited to the US organization. There were also some fine people that got in there, some of whom I know to this day and I consider close and personal friends. But other than that, the organization was poisonous and they were too damn young and insignificant in one sense at the time to know what they were getting into other than it was a thing to do because everybody wanted to be, we called it, relevant. So, yeah. And watch out for that because it's happening right now. A whole lot of people that are talking smack about you need to do this, you need to believe that, you need to follow that, you nothing but pimps and sellouts because they got things that compromise them and somebody's holding it over their heads. And they're saying, just like any other snitch does, don't come after me if I give you somebody else. Yeah. A warning. So no Kwanzaa, just like no Juneteenth, no Kwanzaa. Hell no. They ain't know what you got them. They know what the data.